What's up guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16? 16. 16. When you guys are watching this, we will be at a wedding. We've got a wedding this weekend. Um, we're, we're both in the wedding and it's at a really nice place that we just went to. We just went to the rehearsal. So that was fun. Now we're it's like at, a Spanish mission looking thing yeah, on the side beautiful. of a beautiful massive hill. It's beautiful. Really um, it's gonna make for some really good wedding pictures, but we're here at a mall and now he has to pick up his suit, suit and we have to run some errands. So it's not a very exciting day. <laughs> for one of us it is. <laughs> She's pretty excited about that Oreo. Get that Oreo. Where are you going? Where are you going? All right, yeah, so I'm meeting, I'm meeting two friends here. Uh, we're all trying on shoes because there's no point in trying on the suit because there's less than 24 hours until we have to actually try it, like put it on and wear it. Uh, no seamstress will do that. That's our dress. More coming soon, right? Yeah. 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 I'm not one to dress up. Me either. So that's going to be Actually, that's a lie. I like dressing up. Um, I wanted to do like a little taste test video for a couple fun snacks. I'm going to pick up a few more at Wheatsville. Huh. Snack number one. Weird. Snack number two. Weirder. Weirder. Um, there, there's no animal products in these either. Uh, so we're gonna try those, but let's go get your suit. We're gonna go get some lunch, and I guess we'll just take you guys along. Cause oh, wow. that's that's all that's what we're doing today. Yeah, Busy me. weekend. He still needs to talk about his Canada trip because it sounds pretty cool. So yeah, we'll go it get this neat. stuff. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Look, you can't see it. <laughs> this is a freaking train that's going through the mall right now. It's just not even on tracks. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna stick him on it. <laughs> oh my god. Made my day. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Oh, there it is. Making ash cream. <laughs> Getting that cream? It's like nitrogen ice cream right here. <laughs> give me this nice thick glass. Yeah, I know. Good? I don't want to give away. Guess no, Chris. Ooh. It's cinnamony. Very cinnamon. Well, I asked for extra cinnamon. It's really creamy. You are way too close. That's really creamy. You want to try some? So, out here on 360, this is Loop 360 in Austin, people decorate these little trees. And it kind of started as like a one-time thing, but over the years, like you'll see trees all along the road here and they're miles. decorated for miles and like families will go out there and decorate it and it's really cute. Just 
huh? We just, we just took five minutes to pick out a freaking cheese yeah, sample to try. It's because this guy can't make up his mind. Do you want to try, some, this. Do you want to try some kind of a drink? No. You don't want to eat some shrimps? Babe? No shrimps? What is dulce? Dolce? Dolce? Nori? These look weird. Quick going and then stopping real fast. We've been in traffic since North Austin. We're now in Buda. Just to give you guys a little perspective, was that like an hour of driving? Probably. We've made a s two stops on the way, but it's been Three traffic. The mall? It's Phil. Um, I guess the mall but it's been traffic since we left, so that's cool. Um, so tomorrow the wedding is at 5. I've got to be there at 9. And after the wedding is over, we're going to have to make this drive again. Luckily there won't be as much traffic, but it's still quite a drive um, after, I don't, I don't know if he's going to have drinks. So we might have to get a hotel room, so we'll see. We'll see. Eyebrow. Um, so that's our day, you know? Not much going on. No. I mean, a lot. But it's not exciting. It's all running errands and stuff. Yeah. We just ate burritos in the car. I got my coffee from this morning. And I wish I could show you guys the back seat. It's chaos. It's not too bad. Chaos. It's just a mess. The reason why we're going through traffic and not uh, hanging out at like Crux or something like that um, is because uh, this is kind of, I guess, my side of the family's Christmas, like the night. The only night that I can actually do this because you know wedding and work and everything that's kind of in place already yeah I guess see both my uncles a lot of my other family like the like the rest of them had to cancel because of sicknesses and other things just life life going on so but we're heading there right now uh, they're back at my house or our house uh, and then uh, yeah we're just gonna have a nice little evening nice little evening in maybe spend some time with the boys <laughs> We gotta cook and get ready and stuff. I know it. So I guess I could add to this video. Um, you guys might notice as I kind of talk about these plans. I actually get really anxious when it comes to being rushed. Um, having a lot of things on my to-do list. So times like this when, I mean, it's really all good things that we're doing. Like, we're spending time with his family. Um, we had a nice, like, kind of a day out. We saw some friends. Um, we went to the mall. And tomorrow we've got a wedding. Like, it's not necessarily bad things. Um, and it's Christmas. I love Christmas. But when it comes to plans and having, like, a really crunch timeline, or if I have, like, a lot of stuff to do, I get really anxious. And what happens is I start to list out everything in my head. Um, so it's like even the littlest things. Right now I'm thinking when we get home we've got to unpack the car. Like we've got so many things to unpack. I need to clean and organize those things. Like as I put them away, just make sure everything's put away. We've got to take care of the dogs. Um, we've got food to cook. I've got to pack for tomorrow. I need to take a shower. I need to uh, put on my tanning lotion. I need to wash my hair. Like every little thing um, adds to this to-do list and it causes more anxiety. So it could even be the smallest thing, but it adds to that stress for me. Uh, and it's just something that I can't necessarily just stop doing um, because it is, I don't know if any of you guys have anxiety, um, but it's something that I have found whenever I talk to people that do have anxiety, they tend to have this struggle too. And it's just like this massive to-do list and it's swirling in your head and you can't really calm your thoughts. And then I sometimes will get to the point to where I get so overwhelmed with everything that I have to do, I just kind of shut down. Um, and that can result in a panic attack or it can just result in me not doing anything at all. So yeah, that's just kind of what's going on in my head right now. And I know that he's more so just like put your head down and get things done. He doesn't worry about anything. He doesn't stress about anything. Um, but I stress about everything. So that's 
that's his thoughts on that. Um, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Like I said, even though it's Christmas and I love Christmas and as, as excited as I am about all of the things that I'm stressed about, um, it doesn't stop that kind of looming anxiety. Um, and it's gotten better over the years, for sure it's gotten better. And I've found ways to kind of manage it. And one thing that I try to do and something that he always helps me with is just to remind me to do one thing at a time. Like, all right, just put your stuff down, like go take a shower. <laughs> like the most simple thing um, turns into a, a big task. So, and then the holidays tend to be a lot busier. So I, I get kind of overwhelmed with everything that we have to do. Again, it's not bad, I'm not complaining, but it's just something that I deal with. Hopefully that makes sense. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and if you are somebody that has or has ever struggled with anxiety and you know what this feels like, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well as how you cope with it, how you deal with it, like what helps you to get past those fears and those worries and that stress. I think that's going to be it for today. Do you have anything else to add? Oh no, that's about it. The darkness? Darkness. All right, we're going to go take care of things. I'm going to be good. And that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. If you are enjoying Vlogmas, make sure and hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps me to know that you guys are enjoying it because it's been a lot of effort. Um, I like these videos and I like doing them, but I told Matt today, I was like, man, I'm getting kind of stressed about them because there's, like, it's just, it's a lot. Um, filming and editing and uploading and so hopefully you guys are enjoying them because if you are, that definitely makes it worth it. Um, and hopefully you guys, I'm going to keep saying hopefully, <laughs> y'all are having a good day uh, and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Merry Christmas and bye.